Assalamu alaikum. Weed and the controversy. Is there any permissible use of weed? The answer is there is an extract of weed that happens to be non intoxicating. It's a clear liquid known as CBD. Sometimes it is added into various uh, multivitamins or supplements and sometimes foodstuffs. That is permissible because it is not intoxicating at all. So that's the CBD. In fact, it has a lot of health benefits. It actually boosts your immune system and can fight certain diseases. Perhaps the homeopaths might tell you more about it, the experts of it. If you read up about the benefits of CBD oil and CBD extract of marijuana or weed in Arabic known as albanj or in some of the African languages known as mbanje, subhanallah. So there, there is an extract you can get from it that is non-intoxicating and extremely beneficial. That's the CBD. But what about the THC? Well, the THC is also an extract of the weed, but it happens to be slightly intoxicating, sometimes a little bit more. Does it have any benefits, any medicinal benefits? My brothers and sisters, the medicinal benefits of THC are known. You can read up on them. You will actually be surprised. People have been cured from cancer. A lot of people have had their tumors eradicated. Many people have been cured of epileptic fits that have been happening to them for years on end. And that is by the correct use of the THC in extremely small doses together with a disciplined diet. But you need to learn about it. There is medicinal benefit in the extracts of weed. And like I said, the CBD, no question about it. The THC only when absolutely necessary for some of the diseases and you would need to contact a homeopathic doctor or perhaps an expert in weed, subhanallah. Uh, some of the doctors, the normal medicinal doctors may not even approve of it. They may not even know about it. Some of them would acknowledge, yeah, you know, it does have some benefit. I know of people who have been cured, like I said, but let me make it clear, my brothers and sisters, the social smoking of weed is not allowed. It's not allowed, my brothers and sisters. I, you know what? It does have an element of intoxication. And if it's done for social purposes, it is totally prohibited. The hadith, the Prophet wasallam clearly says, ما أسكر كثيره فقليله حرام. That which intoxicates you in large quantities, even a small quantity of it is prohibited. So the social use of it is not allowed. Medicinal use of it, if it is really uh, needed and it has been prescribed by someone who's an expert, then yes, it may be used. So remember this. My brothers and sisters, I hope I've clarified it. Spoken about three things. The CBD being okay because it's non-intoxicating, very beneficial, extremely good for your health, immune booster. But when it comes to the THC, you remember it's only administered to those who need it as a medication for some serious sickness or illness or disease, a cancer, some tumors, etc. It does help. To be honest with you, it has had that uh, effect on so many people, alhamdulillah. But once again, the social use, nope, not allowed. So let's not think, oh wow, weed is legalized. Just like cigarettes are legalized, alcohol is legalized, that is a secular legalization or the legalization in your country that doesn't run by the, the rules and regulations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So even if it may be legal in your country, it doesn't mean that from an Islamic perspective it is allowed or legal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and understanding and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all. Those of you who might be hooked onto it. It is still considered a drug in Islam and get off it inshallah. We, not, not just wean yourself off it, but just get off it. Really, to be honest, you must try your best to move out of these bad habits because ultimately they would harm you. Uh, I want to say once again that for medicinal purposes, it, is, it does have a scope of permissibility. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. جزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته